You can try your first 30 days for free of the Herb Rally Schoolhouse at herbrally.com slash schoolhouse and just enter coupon code podcast at checkout. We release epic new video classes each week. We're building a growing library of diverse herbal education and video, audio, and written form co-created with some of the most experienced and highly esteemed herbalists around. One more time to learn more, head to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. And don't forget to use coupon code podcast at checkout to try your first 30 days for free. little bit of housekeeping before we get into the show. The content in this podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended to cure, diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. This information has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. We are not doctors, nor do we play one on the internet. Please seek advice from a qualified healthcare professional. Okay, MC Calico, take it away. Yeah. Smoky herbal blends. We need some mullin and some kush, my brethren. While listening to Herb Rally podcast again. Herbalism at its finest with Mason Hutchinson. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lorna Trigg from Sky Dancer Apothecary. And we're here at Fire Rome Earth Retreat Center, which is the 15 acre property that is a botanical sanctuary where I grow most of the herbs that I work with and teach. Do you have any books you'd recommend for the beginning herbalist? Well, my, yes, I do. I have, there are lots and lots of books that I use. The Modern Herbal Dispensary, Dispensatory, um, a medicine making guide. I have found that this from, it's Thomas Easley and Steve Horn, has, is just an incredible book from, it'll take um, anybody from beginner through to more advanced with, just great information. It's a wonderful resource. So this at the moment is my top pick on books. <laughs> uh, Laura, what is your favorite part of being an herbalist and what's your big why that keeps you learning and growing? Okay. Uh, I am very connected with plants. I think uh, when, I'm, when I say head down in the shrubbery is where I'm really happy. And um, so my favorite part of being an herbalist is uh, researching a new plant or having something show up. P plants will show up on my property or maybe they've always been there and they've just shown themselves to me and I find out what they're about and begin using them and having some friends test them out. So I've got some really good guinea pigs and then see I am always fascinated and amazed at how well plants work. And I don't know why I should feel that way, but or why I should be fascinated and amazed, but they just are incredible. So it keeps me what keeps me going is constantly learning something. I have worked with plantain and dandelion, one of my early plants, for years and years and years, and I still when every any time I teach a class, I'm doing some more research. I'll find something about it that I didn't know, and it just is amazing to me uh, that there is always something new to learn, and the benefits, the benefits without being um, harmful. Can you talk a little bit about like growing up in South Africa and how your mom and grandma taught you about herbalism and how that kind of you know, All right. informed you? So I was born in South Africa and grew up in South Africa and moved to the States in 1988. So I was like mid-30s when I moved here. So my you know, formative years were in South Africa. And any time you had a hurt or a scratch, uh, if, if I was on the farm where my grandmother was, she would go to her medicine cabinet. And it, her medicine cabinet was full of plants and infusions and there was never anything that had a printed label from somebody else or somewhere else. It was all things that she had learned that had been passed down to her and my mother was the same way. When my mother was older and I was moving her into a home um, away from the family home, a smaller 
um, establishment and she had to have a medical record. I went to our local doctor of a small town in South Africa and said, Dr. Pitt, I need a medical record for my mother. And he said, here's her file. There's nothing in it. And so she really never used um, or had to use any kind of chemical medicines um, and was very rarely sick. But she was a yogi. She ate well. She did all the right things and um, used to outwalk me at about age 86. I'd be like, oh, no, we're not going for a walk with mom, are we? But we, we were. So that and then on the farms, I'll tell you one of my biggest influences was the herd boys. And I say herd boys because they were mostly the male African children who would be out with the cattle out on the, far, on the land, on the farms. And as kids, as young kids, we would run with them, run wild with them. And if they had a scratch or a bite, they would dig up a root, they would pick a plant. And at age nine, they knew about 250 different medicinals to use. And so it was a huge, I just a huge influence in my life. I was like, I want to know this stuff. I want to know what they know. So I did walk around with a little suitcase with a red cross on it. And anytime a friend got hurt, I would pick anything that was green around and rub it on. I mean, I don't know how they survived, but they did. They did. I started really early with that. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Herb Rally podcast. If you'd like to hear more from us here at Herb Rally, we now have a text message community, believe it or not. Basically, it's just updates from us. We send about one to seven texts per week, uh, notifying you about new events, videos, courses, podcasts. You get the idea. It's pretty much like our email newsletter, just in text form. So if you'd like to receive text messages from Herb Rally, just text JOIN, that's J-O-I-N, to the number 541-256-2895. Again, that's JOIN to number 541-256-2895. And to stop receiving texts, that's easy too. Just text STOP to the same number. It'll opt you out immediately. Okay, thanks again for listening. Have a great rest of your day.